Our wow word today is doctrine. Paul writes in Titus 2 verse 1, You must teach what is in accord with sound doctrine. And the word doctrine in a lot of places in the church is unfashionable. They say that doctrine belongs to a time gone by and that new experiences of God and miracles from God are all that matters. Some churches teach only what they think people want to hear, thereby tickling the ears instead of exposing them to biblical truth led by the Holy Spirit and therefore stirring them into living transformed lives for Jesus Christ. But what is doctrine? The words translated as doctrine are found frequently in the letters written by Paul, primarily 1 and 2 Timothy, and the letter to Titus. The original words are didak, the act of teaching, and didaskaleia, that which is taught. And they are translated as doctrine. And doctrine is the study of God, as revealed through the pages of the Bible. The more you as a Christian learn about the God you have chosen to follow, the more you will be able to deal with the daily pressures of living in a world who does not want to know about God. You will continue learning and understanding the very nature of God, and therefore be wise in your actions and reactions to conflict and circumstances. You will continue to develop the relationship between yourself and the God you serve. Doctrine is for all Christians, regardless of education, time of knowing God personally, and your status within the church. Indeed, everybody, Christian or not, has some form of doctrine, whether they want to have a doctrine or not. And that includes atheists who have a doctrine of non-belief. So doctrine matters. For all people, Christians particularly, doctrine matters. Doctrine matters because what you believe about God ultimately affects how you will behave. If, as a Christian, you have solid biblical doctrine being practiced in your life, you will be living a life of total obedience to Jesus Christ. For Christians are to hunger and thirst after righteousness. And this only comes through the continuing work of the indwelling Holy Spirit. As the mind is renewed and transformed, with teaching about Jesus Christ, what the mind learns is put into practice, and your life is being transformed into the very image of the Jesus Christ you serve. And people will start asking you about the reasons for the hope that you hold on to, and that way the gospel and the good news of Jesus Christ is spread. That's evangelism. And this hope is also an unending hope, a hope which will enable you to endure to the end and run the race marked out for you. And finally, learning solid doctrine is important so that you will be able to discern true apostolic and biblical teaching from the false teaching of heretics and those who want to lead you astray from the truth. Experiences and miracles are important, but to base your whole Christian life upon them and not on solid biblical doctrine, produces a roller coaster effect and not the constant reliance on the indwelling Holy Spirit for direction, guidance, trust, and transformation. Thank you. Doctrine.